are um are Mark and Emma like were they plugged in? Like, did you ever talk to them? Have they? Do you know if they've seen the movie? Like, is that, like what's their awareness of this? Emma kept on texting me. She was like, "Are you in this new Spider-Man film?" And I was like, "I don't know what you're talking." About. What? You're still in Wally Emerson? She was like, "Shut up! Just tell me." I'm like, "I honestly don't know what." I kept it going even with her. It's hilarious. To the end, you've never admitted to Emma. No. And then she and then she saw it. She's like, "You're a jerk." <laughs> oh, sorry. Ah, you blew it, bro! So, yeah, I was born in Cedar Sinai Hospital in Los Angeles. Right down the block California. from here. Yeah, 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 yeah. No claps. Or... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah. For that hospital. They're great doctors and nurses. They're working. <laughs> hey, I had a lump removed at that hospital. Hey! All right! I would love to start with the fact that you were born in Los Angeles. Yes. And yes. Tell, tell me how that came to be. Yeah, well, uh, well, my... <laughs> how much detail do you want? Uh, Not I was, the day of the birth, necessarily, but just well, know, I was the circumstances. Uh, well, the circumstances of my parents' lovemaking. Uh, I was... Um, <laughs> Isso é só uma pequena curiosidade, e que, pra ser franca, pra gente tem menos importância do que pra eles. Por mais que no seu nascimento ele estivesse nos Estados Unidos, ele foi criado na Inglaterra, e é de fato um cidadão inglês. Mas ele é sempre questionado sobre isso nas entrevistas, porque para o pessoal, tanto dos Estados Unidos quanto da Inglaterra, existe muito daquela coisa de exaltar atores nacionais. Vamos ser sinceros, pra gente, não muda muito. Se ele é britânico ou americano, nós amamos ele do mesmo jeito. I was conceived in New York City, actually. Okay. Um, <laughs> it was a, a balmy spring evening at all. Uh, this is a true origin story day, you guys. <laughs> here's my mum and dad right now. Um, they will demonstrate. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, no. We need this, you guys. This is very cathartic. Oh, this is good. Mas é legal ver como, mesmo ele tendo que responder essas perguntas inúmeras vezes, ele está sempre de bom humor e sempre respondendo de forma irreverente e divertida. Na verdade, o bom humor de Andrew é de longe uma das suas maiores qualidades. Entrevistas simples com ele podem literalmente virar um show de acrobacia sem muitos motivos. So you want me to potentially do injury to myself yep. for a good cause? Yes. That, let's do it. All right. Well, And very tight pants. Andrew teve a oportunidade de tentar um pouco de tudo até se descobrir como um ator. E esse tipo de coisa pode levar bastante tempo para algumas pessoas, enquanto outras já sabem que querem isso desde criança. Mas, por um lado, foi bom que Andrew teve que passar por todos esses processos. Assim, isso se tornou uma história que eles nos conta de forma tão divertida. My mother came in and saved the day. She said, what about something creative? And I said, well, oh, okay. So I tried painting, <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> I, tried, I, I like this is your painting. <laughs> rubbish. I tried sculpture, <laughs> rubbish. I tried, uh, I tried music, <laughs> rubbish. I tried, uh, you know, I tried all the, all of the, all of the. E não foi só nas partes criativas que ele tentou se encaixar. Ele também tentou alguns esportes e novamente isso virou combustível para suas histórias. I kept getting con concussed during rugby. I kept getting very cold during swimming. I kept. I kept <laughs> I can't, I can't. It is reasonable. Yeah. And and oh, and there was a big fat guy that would sit on my back while I was doing the splits and gymnastics, and I thought this is abuse. And uh, I, when I was like 13, that so is actually it, literally abuse. It was. Did someone it was. Stop that? But no, I mean that's what uh, makes Olympians, I guess. Um, e você pode até dizer que não gosta do ator ou de seus filmes, mas eu duvido que você não se divida. 